Japan is one of the most powerful and influential countries on earth. Home to the third largest economy worldwide, it's well known for its beautiful culture, delicious food, sprawling city architecture, and much more. But this one problem threatens to drag their progress to a screeching halt. Make sure to stick around till the end. In 2010, Japan's population clocked in at 128 million. This number is the country's peak population figure. After growing for centuries, Japan's population has never exceeded this number. They've been shrinking steadily ever since. Today, Japan's population count is at roughly 125.7 million, with 2021 marking a staggering loss of 644,000 people. And this issue is expected to get worse with forecasts indicating that Japan might lose over 1 million people annually in the coming years. If these trends continue, Japan could lose a third of its population by 2060. This could be catastrophic for Japan's output and influence as an economic superpower on the global stage. So why is this happening? First, Japan's birth rate is incredibly low. Like every other industrialized country, Japan experienced a population boom during the Industrial Revolution and peaked during the 1920s. During that time, Japanese women were having five children on average. By 2005, that number dropped to 1.26 children per woman. For a population to grow, the country needs to maintain a birth rate of 2.1. So the million dollar question is, what happened? Well, experts say a huge reason is many young people aren't able to find work. Nearly 40% of the entire workforce operates on a part-time or freelance basis. And these workers make 53% less money than colleagues their own age who work in similar but full-time positions. Over 10% of the country works over 60 hours a week, and more than half of employees don't use all their vacation days, and 30% of women take zero childcare leave. It seems like Japanese men and women are overworked and overburdened by finances to the point where many don't have time to even think about romantic relationships. The phenomenon is leading to incredibly high rates of virginity. Now it's worth noting that many experts say, like almost every other developed country around the world, Japan has seen a decline in birth rate alongside women entering the workforce. But in Japan, this problem seems to be worse because culturally, women are still expected to run the household even if they work, so many women are apparently opting to not get married at all. But it's also got really profound gender imbalances in domestic work, so the amount of time on on average, the Japanese man, father spends doing work at home is 41 minutes a day compared to the US, which is two and a half hours a day. So this profound gender imbalance seems to be leading a lot of Japanese women to say, I don't want that life. Now, like I said today, most, if not all first world countries don't have the necessary birth rate to support population growth. But there is a quick fix for this issue that many first world countries are taking advantage of and that is immigration. For years, Western countries have imported the best and the brightest from around the world to fill the holes in their workforce. But Japan is still reluctant to use this tool. In fact, they have the lowest immigration percentage of any developed country around the world. Only 2.4% of Japan's population are immigrants. Now, Japan might have to rethink its stance on immigration soon because their plummeting birth rate will cause problems for Japan's aging population. With one of the highest life expectancies around the world, the average Japanese citizen lives to be 85 years old. Right now, for every five workers, there are two elderly people who have retired, which forces Japan to spend roughly 28% of their national income on social welfare in order to support them. But that problem is getting worse fast. By 2060, that number is expected to grow to four elderly people for every five workers. By that time, 40% of the entire population is expected to be seniors, which again means even more spending will be necessary on welfare and healthcare. And because Japan isn't having babies and the workforce is shrinking, so will their national income. So where will this money come from? Right now, Japan is closing about 400 schools a year and replacing them with long-term care homes. And since 2014, the country has been selling more adult diapers than baby diapers. Because of the skewed ratio of old to young people in Japan, thousands of elderly people are dying alone and their bodies go unnoticed for days or even weeks. For a civilization steeped in state-of-the-art technology, etiquette, and culture, these issues threaten the very fabric of all the things we love about Japan. And the solutions are complex and each come with their drawbacks. Will Japan embrace immigration and contend with the dilution of their people and culture? Or will they remain an ethnostate and stomach the deep consequences of a shrinking population? The choice is ultimately theirs to make, and only time will tell which road Japan will choose. The officials are citing the reasons being an aging population, more people now leaving the country than moving there, and couples who are delaying marriage and having children for economic reasons. It's simply too expensive. 